All right. You want to hear about the offensive side of this 49er team? You kind of know about that, right? You want to figure out or you want to talk about the defensive side of this? I football? really want to know about the defense and how confident I can be they can move the ball, get some first downs going. Yeah. You know, I, it, it's going to be about how you handle the front then. It's because to me, watching them play pass defense, it's all about the front four that they have. It's all about Kinlaw, it's all about Armstead, and it's all about Bosa. That's where this game is going to hinge for you, in my opinion, with for the Cowboys. Couldn't agree more. Because if you if you do not handle those bodies, that there's your problem right there. You know, we could talk about running the football and all that. You know, Raiders had some success running the ball. It, it was a power running game. They used it on the edge. They had some perimeter runs. You know, they did a nice job. But the the way that the, the way that Stidham, the way they made their plays was throwing the football. And and I, I and I I will tell you this. They they've got corners that I think you can make plays on. I think you can make plays on Lenore, number thirty eight. I think you can make plays on Ward, number seven. Both of them. I think you could take advantage of their safety. You know, Fafenga out of USC. Oh yeah. He I bites think on stuff. He's more man. of an in the box guy. He is a yeah, and that's what ha- what they what they did was the Raiders did a great job of getting Waller on him. And I think the Cowboys could do the same thing. I think the Cowboys could take Dalton Schultz and they could try and match him up and make him uh, make him have to cover in this game. Schultz got open a lot last year. He sure did. He got hurt. And he got hurt in that game, though. I believe, though, too, the Forty Nine er game last year he got hurt. I believe in the second quarter. So yeah, we'll see. But I, I, I to me, this it's going to be about how you block it because. Bosa, they'll move him around, and that's the that's the that's the thing you have to kind of be aware of. Like, are you going to try and set your protection to him? And when I mean set the protection to him, you're going to slide his direction. You're going to make him have to. I make him have to run as wide as he can, and I means when I mean wide, you could do it by alignment. You could put guys over there. You could put a tight end as a wing. You could you could space him like with your with your splits. You know, if you're if you're Smith, both Smiths, you just kick, you just you just line up a little bit wider, just a half foot wider. So you come in with passing plays then that can get the ball out in case that plan doesn't work. Or are you are you trying to let things develop? I think I think you can I think you can develop some routes on these guys. I do. I'm Good, not man. I'm not sitting here and saying you have to throw every ball quick, but I. It, this but Bosa's is a problem. Bosa is Bosa, their Parsons. He heck, is, yeah, he's a problem. He's a game he's, record. He's a problem. The defensive player of the year. And, 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 but, you know, how much confidence do you have in Smith and Smith? That's where this game's going to hinge. Yeah. I, you know, I, I feel you, like if, Tyler Smith will give up two or three big plays against him if you play him all day out there by himself. You have to give him all the help in the world. Like, what I, Bosa's done this year is insane. Like, when you look at how often he's hitting the quarterback, even in that Stidham game, he hit Stidham five times. Yeah. He's hitting quarterbacks at a ridiculous rate here. Where I mean, forty-eight quarterback hits on the season—that's thirteen clear of second place. He's just hitting the quarterback all game, every game. That's what he does. And if he's going to do that, that's going to—it's going to put you in a bind. I don't agree with you on that. I don't because I—I kind of feel like to me when you start to talk about the pressures and stuff like that, I feel like you can block him one on one. I do. I, he's a high effort, high motor guy, and all that. I absolutely. I I I I think that. I think your tackles are good enough to block him. I do. Watch well, this if they, game. If they can, well, damn, Cowboys are going to be I, in great shape. Yeah, I, I, I think you got to at least Broaddus. try. I like right, how Broadus held his ground there too. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to say because like I'm not going to sit there and and I understand what Bosa is. I, I I totally I I get him and how he plays, but I think I think if, when you sit there and say okay, we have to commit resources to handling him the whole game. I think that's going to take away other things you can do against these guys. Sure. I'm going to need my tight ends in this game. I, I, I don't think they can cover. And I'm not going to say, you can max protect. You know, we've seen the Cowboys when they want to take shots down the field, max protect, you know. I We've seen, we've also seen, you know, like the, the you know, with, with when you watch these guys play and you sit there and you get so enamored, oh, got to stop, got to stop, guys. And then, you know, you, you just commit so much that it affects everything you're doing. I'm not going to do that in this game because so, I I feel like that I feel like you could take the shotgun snap I feel like you can handle that and get the ball the ball out and and win on these out on these guys on the outside. How much moving around is Bosa doing? 
you're going to get him. You're going to get him on both sides. It just depends. It's not one of those things that's like one play is on the right, one play is on the left. They they alternate how he plays the game. So both both Smiths are going to get a healthy both, dose. Both Smiths are going to get, and I I I feel like both these guys are going to be all right. I really really do. Yeah, Tyron coming off of his best game. He seems like he's starting to figure it out. And Tyler Tyler played great last week. So I'm with you. I, I think you got to let them try and, but, see, I mean, and see how they do. The edge rushing difference from a quality standpoint oh, from I'd, what the Bucks just ran out. There's no oh, we, we, we talked about Nick that. No, yeah, we there's talked no about that. There's no disagreement there. No, but it, the, the reason you won the game is because they couldn't. They don't have any pass rush. But I, I'm just saying this. I, the Cowboys, I believe, can block these guys. They block. I feel like they block just as good a group as with the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah, and threw the ball the way they did. Yeah, somebody without without having extra help. Hey, what other good front have you played against? Eagles have a damn good front. Yeah, especially that, with the pass rush. I'm, no I'm, I'm just going at it. With, I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to need. I'm going to need these. I'm going to need my ex, my tight ends and everybody else in routes. Can you run on them? I feel like you can. I feel now. To me, the problem you run into is what they do is they run and they make plays with unblocked guys. Like Gibson, the free safety, he's going to make plays if he's unblocked. They come running a guy up late, and that's and that's how they usually make plays. They can they could get off block. Warner's a good linebacker. Greenlaw's a good linebacker. You know, problems there, sure. But you know what? I, I feel like though the teams are able to kind of get the the games that I watched. Teams, the Falcons, the Falcons went with 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 basically like a. Uh, I wouldn't call it an RPO offense, but it was at least a like a read option offense where the quarterback would pull and had success running the football against these guys. So I, I to me, I'm going to give it a try. I'm not going to sit there and go in a shell on offense and say, "Oh my gosh, poor me! These this offense, this defense is going to is going to kill me in this game." I just don't think that's the case. Well, the, the the biggest difference between the Niners today and the Niners in that Falcons game, I'm assu- I think Bosa played in that game, but Kinlaw and Armstead did not play in that game. I'm just I'm just telling you though they've got good players you know that everybody that I've named though they've got players that, that to me Heck yeah they do the backups are just, I mean it's a it's a de- I'm going in this game I'm not scared of this defense I don't care who they run out there I think your offense is good enough to block these guys and I think you're you know and when you start to talk about your tight end which I don't think they can cover and I don't know if they could cover your I don't know if they could cover C.D. Lamb in this game. You know that's it. They sure could cover DK Metcalf. Hell no, they couldn't. Well, and, and the good news is, is you got a quarterback that's great at avoiding the pressure and maneuvering the pocket and getting right. out of things. Yeah, so, absolutely. So uh, I agree with you there, Broadus, where you say, hey, if I feel like I can take advantage of this defense in a multitude of ways, and I need all my horses to do that, and I don't want to dedicate a bunch of guys to a Bosa, no problem. I'll look at my quarterback and say, go, go do your thing, baby. Yeah, this is your thing. Twenty one. To me, to me, I'm, I'm, I feel like that. When I I was expecting like the, when I watched these guys play, I'm saying this team's going to be much better in Philadelphia on defense. I don't think they were. I don't well, think they were. And we, that's and that's the that's the hope that I have going forward that you were able to block you were able to block Philadelphia, and you were able to to throw the ball in Philadelphia. I think Philadelphia's got a better secondary than this crew. Yeah, they have a really good secondary. Yeah, and I think their pass rush. And you can talk about Bosa and all that stuff like that. Sure. I mean, I, it's pretty much just Bosa's, and I mean, he had 18 sacks. They ended up with 44 yeah, on the year. Yeah. I will say Amenahue was really good in the playoff game last year. Now I don't know how well he's been this year, but he he's did, had to he play the Cowboys' problems in the wild card game last yeah, year. Yeah, but they only had 44 sacks. The Cowboys had 54, and there were plenty of games where the Cowboys' pass rush wasn't bonkers. You know, you need to be able to hold them to you know one of those quieter games if you can advantage Cowboys. Are you picking Cowboys though, Brian? I am. I'm going to pick the Cowboys to win this game. I absolutely am. I, I have confidence. Like I say, I think they've played against a better defense. Now, the flip side of these things like that, though, is what's going to happen on your offensive side of the thing, or dealing with their offense. Right. It's going to come down to how well you tackle in this game, on that side of the ball. because they, and, and again, like I talked about earlier, is is the left tackle tip tipping stance? Is he tipping it? You know, run pass, watch him, see what's going on over there. You got to figure out though. You got to figure out how to tackle this crew and don't get fooled by matching them up with every way and them taking you out of taking you out of, of having the right guys in the box to play the run. That's the thing that I worry about the Cowboys doing right there. 